Welcome to Steamy, the daily Steamit show. Today we are talking about DTube, the first decentralized video platform built on top of the Steam blockchain. Here we see it. This is the starting page of DTube. You have your little DTube logo, a search bar, and you can create, well, you can log into your Steemit account. You will not create a new account. So you will use your private posting key to be able to post into your Steemit account. And then you can upload a video here and change settings. You have all these IPFS settings. Um, which is this new decentralized sharing protocol which DTube is using for, for its services. And basically what DTube does is it, it is nothing else than a JavaScript program in your browser allowing you to post into that IPFS network. And it will then upload the video on these decentralized servers and create a link. And that link is un indestructible, I think. Please correct me if I'm wrong there, but that's the whole point of the IPFS. Um, it is resistant to censorship. So, yeah. Um, when the video is then uploaded on, on the IPFS network, DTube will create a post in your name on your Steemit account and it will include a link to the video with the thumbnail that you uploaded there and the text that you put below. And that's basically it. And then the videos that you see here are other videos that have been uploaded with this service you have that's that's all there is you have the hot videos the trending videos new videos and all of them are just what you see here that's not even um you cannot even look more um up in that platform it's just that for now but it's pretty new and a damn good idea i think here you have the watch again this is what you have been watching earlier so yeah, next thing is the upload. Here, this is the entire thing. You have here the red box, you click on that, you select a video, let's use a steam, steamy video here. And Hello, that starts welcome. playing right away, let's stop that now. You can take a snapshot from the video or you can upload an image from your computer. And then there's the title field, description and tags as you're used to from the Steemit posts. The difference is the description here, it doesn't support Markdown or HTML. It just shows everything that you put in there as it is, but it will work on a Steemit account. So you can style it properly as you would normally do and it will look good on Steam it, it will look a little bit silly on DTube though, I will show you that in a second. And then the text DTube will put always the DTube tag as the main tag, and then it will put DTube and then minus as an addition to all the tags that you type in here. So when you type in Steam it, for example, as a tag, then the end result will be DTube minus Steam it. And then Submit basically puts it into the blockchain and it will be posted. So if you want to change anything of that later in the post, that's, you, you can do that, but let's look at the first, how it looked like when it's done. So here's the video, you have your player here and you can upvote it and downvote it. Actually, this is then the flagging function. It's the same thing you have the comments with nested comments here, you can upvote and downvote them. This is like, it's styled like YouTube, but the functionali functionality in the background is the same as on Steemit. You can change the upvote strength by going on the settings here and then using voting 10%, 1% and so on, plus 
plus 10, plus 1, and so on. So if I click on minus 10, I will be at 90 now, right? Yeah, that's basically it. There's not much more on DTube. So the, the cool thing about it is you are, well, you are decentralizing yourself from YouTube and you are not relying anymore on just YouTube to get funds for the for your for your video. So for example, here is Dan Dix from Press for Truth. And he was because of his controversial um, alternative news channel on YouTube completely demonetized from them and therefore he is celebrating the idea of DTube a lot and he can now generate funds with that immediately instead of hoping to find marketing campaigns on YouTube in the first place so this is this is immediately a win for him one more thing about DTube is when you use it, it will take away 25% of the author rewards. That means everything that you would earn, you have to share 25% with DTube in order to pay for their services at the moment. This is only temporary and will go away eventually. But for now, Hyman Danger, the guy who's programming it, um, is hiring a second a second developer and together they want to push this forward because right now as you have seen this is pretty rudimentary as it is here is the discord channel from dtube you can join them and ask questions about technical stuff or if you have if you need help or whatever there's Heim in danger you can contact him directly or the entire team here so this is pretty cool there is one more thing i want to talk about and that is a problem that well before, before we talk about the problem, let's have a look here at how it looks on CMIT. So this is the same post you saw before here on DTube. This is how it looks like on Steemit. There is, I, I edited these, this post afterwards, after it was published, I went back to the post, edited, edited here this, this thumbnail. No, actually this comes from DTube. Um, I edited here this, this, this logo and here you see DTube is, is adding this part automatically under all your posts that you do via DTube. And here you see there are still these tags and I could have changed them and I should have actually, but I forgot about it, which is bad. You should probably remember that. I don't know why DTube exactly is doing that, but it's a, it's a bit annoying. I guess they have the reasons so that they create their own subcategories for all the main categories just for DTube, so the idea is good, but it doesn't work so well, I think. So yeah, you have to take out of that what you want. Change it or leave it. Yeah, I think it looks good, it's great. So this is fantastic, but be aware the 25% leads to a problem. So since people have to, ch uh, have to um, yeah, give something of the income away to DTube, and that's quite a bit, 25%, if you think about it, although on the other hand, these costs to develop are also high and Hyman Danger was doing it alone. So you, everyone, I think everyone is agreeing that it's a good idea for now, but um, it leads to double posts. So as you can see here, there's box mining, a very popular YouTube uh, cryptocurrency vlogger who is now posting first a post with a YouTube link. And then second, uploading it on DTube, the same post, the same video, but on DTube. And well, now this is a controversial behavior. The same happens here with Dan Dix, by the way, who I just mentioned before from Press for Truth. Here also director Kevin Smith on Charlottesville, then DTube director Kevin Smith on Charlottesville. Same post, but different hosting platform for the video. I also did that with Steamy, as you can see here, there's Steamy, YouTube, DTube. So same thing. And now the question is, is that good or bad? And I understand that people are doing it because on one thing, they wanna add the video to the blockchain, they wanna add it to DTube, um, but they don't want to give away entire 25% and by doing a double post, they, yeah, well, they earn more than, probably more than they would do 
with just one post. Um, and they have the video on YouTube and they have the video on YouTube. And then the user can decide themselves which one they want to upvote. So it's up to you whether you want to upvote one of them, both of them, or none of them, or even flag that behavior because you think that it's, it's not good. I think I understand it. I mean, I did it myself, of course. But I think it has its benefits if you're doing it. You can re get a bigger reach for your videos because not many people will see your videos. It is what it is. YouTube, uh, sorry, Steam, it is a, is a tricky platform when it comes to post distribution. Therefore, it is helpful. And then you have both, you have supported DTube, which is great. And you have the fast, the slightly faster YouTube link for people who prefer that. So it's, I think it's, I think it's a win-win for everybody, but I guess the ideal solution would be to include the YouTube link automatically in the DTube post and then eventually get rid of the DTube fees. So that is the ideal way, but for, for the way it is now, I understand every, every way you do it. You can of course just put the YouTube link into your DTube video, video posts and then accept that you can constantly give away 25%. It is, it is up to, to you guys, to the content creators, how you want to handle that. All right, that's it for today. Um, let, us, let us have a, a final look here at, at the market. What is it called? Coin market cap. And see what is happening there i have seen i have had a quick look at it earlier and it was green very green for most of the coins they are recovering here so yeah they are the top 10 coins 11 all green there so that's pretty neat and when we look at steam oh my god oh my god it shot up oh my god oh my god 162 that is the greatest that is the greatest price it had in, in quite a while after the big after the big dip from um, the Bitcoin FUD that create that was created with the Segwit um, chain um, the, the the fork the hard fork that created Bitcoin Cash basically early August before that everything went down and Steemit was pulled down with it afterwards it went up again Steemit shot to one hundred to 180, but just for, for a day and then boom, it, it crashed and 162 is now really, really nice. Let's have a look at this. Oh, the rain is coming, sorry. We will not go into more depth, this is enough. 162 is cool. The Costa Rica rain is kicking in, so Steamy is saying goodbye for today. Upvote the video if you like it and re-steam it with your friends and come back tomorrow for more new cool content on the Flowery Steamit account. Thank you very much and talk to you tomorrow.